Hello guys, so in this video we will take a look at network dataset and what is network dataset is created for. So network dataset is basically a way to create a network using the streets so you can navigate into these networks. Remember when we draw our freeways I told you to make sure that the lines is connected to each other and you make sure that the snapping is working for the vertex so all the lines is connected to each other. And we did that so we make sure that when we create the network data set, we have a good clean data for the network data set. So for the network data set to be created or to create network analysis, to do routing in the streets and get directions, you need to have a feature class of type line and it's connected to each other. So there is one thing to keep in mind. If you already know network data set and network analysis in ArcGIS desktop, there are some things that is different in ArcGIS Pro and actually it make it much easier. And we will see what is the difference between ArcGIS desktop and ArcGIS Pro in the network analysis when we come to the next video. But for this video, we will focus on how can we create a new network data set. So to create a new network data set, you need to go to the catalog and you make sure that you are inside a feature data set that at least have lions feature class. So here we have the freeways so we can create our network data set here. But the thing is, if you try to right click and say new and you try to choose network data set, you'll see that it is disabled. And the reason it's disabled because you need to enable the license or the extension for the network analysis in your ArcGIS Pro. In order to enable the license for the network data set, you need to go to your ArcGIS organization account and go to organization and here you will go to license and as you see here when we created our organization account we have ArcGIS Pro Advanced enabled so we have the license for ArcGIS Pro but ArcGIS Pro have different extensions and each extension have its own license and you need to enable the license for this one so here for example we need to focus on the network analysis so we will say manage and I will enable the network analysis extension or license for my user account I'll say OK enable this one don't send email I'll just close and then now I enabled the network analysis license for my user account that I used to log in to ArcGIS Pro which is the one right here so if I right click here and say new I still don't see the network data set enabled and that because I need to close ArcGIS Pro and open it again because sometimes you just need to refresh the application so it takes the new license so we will open ArcGIS Pro again and before we open our project we can check our license that we have by go to the settings and here you go to licensing and you will see that we have the network analysis now enabled and licensed and it's going to expire at this date so right now we can go back again and open our project and on catalog we will go to our geodatabase and then the feature data set and now we can come here right click and say new and you will see that you have the network data set enabled for you so when you click on it you'll see that the geoprocessing tool opened which is going to create a new network data set for you this is the output location in California feature data set and here we will name it network and here you choose which layers you want to include in your network data set so you might have different feature classes that represent the streets so you can choose any layers you want from here to include into your network data set so we will just choose the freeways and here you choose the option uh, elevation model in case if you are creating a 3d like for example if you have a streets going up and down on mountains or hills or if you have uh, tunnels or bridges or even if you are creating an indoor network analysis like you want to create a building a 3d building and you want people to go from one floor to another you can use the elevation fields or the z fields but we don't have any 3d here so we will choose no elevation and we will just click run to create our network data set after the network data set created we will open the properties for the network data set so we can define the directions uh, the end point and the last point and some other properties that we will see right now so we here we have our network data set created and as you see also we have a new feature class called network junctions and this one is point feature class and this one represents the points connection between each single line or each single street so now to set up the settings for our network we will right click on it and go to properties and here in the general tab you will see a lot of information about 
your network data set like where it's located what is the layers used inside of it which data set version used and how many edges and how many junctions how many turns and so many other informations you can see it from here so if you have a new data set that you didn't create and you want to know more information about it make sure to right click and open the properties to know all this uh, options in your network data set here the source setting it shows you what source is used to create this network data set and here one of the important things to change is the group connectivity and here you have two options you have endpoint and any vertex so the difference between them let's say for example you have streets that is one way so if the streets is one way that means that you want to make sure that the network or the routing works from the beginning of the street to the end of the street so if you have a lot of streets that is one way or you draw your network based on every single street have two lines one go to one direction and the other one go to the other direction you choose endpoint but because we draw our freeways as one line and go in both directions we can choose any vertex and this way when we do the routing it will connect any street to any other street and will do all the turns without any problem so this is one of the important things to change if you don't have one-way streets and here we will enable the directions by select support directions and as you see here once we enable the direction you need to set up the field for the street names so here you have a lot of options to set the names for the streets or if you are doing indoor network analysis you need to set up the levels which floor going to the other floor you can set up using the fields so the only thing we need to change in this options in order to fix this error and be able to save the properties is the base name and we will choose the freeway name as the base name so that will help us when we create our routing and we view the directions it will show us the name of the freeways and how many miles left for the next turn and how many miles left for the turn after that and that is the minimum settings you need to change for your network data set in order to have a good functional network data set that you can do routing and you can see the directions for your network so after we change these two things we will say okay and the last step to make our network functional we will right click on the network and choose build and build will just open a geoprocessing tool to build your network you don't need to change anything other than click run and it will take a few seconds to build this network for us and after you build your network you're not gonna see anything change it right here but if you right click and say refresh and then you right click here and check the properties again you will see in the general that now we have more edges in the beginning before we do the build it was zero there was no edges there was no junction so that means that right now our network is ready to be used to create a new route new service area or closest facility so we will say okay to this and now we can go to our map and go to analysis and create a new route using our new network data set by clicking here it will show you what network data sources you can build your new route on and it will automatically check your project geo database to see if there is any network data set exist in your project geo database but if you want to open any other network data set that doesn't exist in your project database you can just browse and open any network data set to use it as a network data source and in the next video we will see how can we create new routes new service area and new closed facility using our network data set and also we have the option to use ArcGIS online network analysis and we don't need a network data set for this because this one exists online and we don't even need to draw any streets for this one so that's it for this video and now you know how you can create a network data set and we'll see you in the next one so we can create some routes and do some analysis thanks